Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Snow early today, sunshine this afternoon, and right now we're looking at clear skies. Temperatures will drop from around 40 at 7 o'clock uh, down to 34 at 11 p.m. under those clear skies. And then finally, a few scattered clouds start to come back into the picture here later tonight. Uh, we'll get back to those partly cloudy conditions tomorrow morning with a temperature rating around 31 at 8 o'clock after overnight lows dip down into the upper 20s, up to 42 at noon with seasonably cool temperatures again tomorrow reaching the upper 40s in the afternoon. The weather headlines, a dry, cool Thursday coming our way. We'll see the showers develop Friday afternoon. And then as we get to the evening, those showers, rain showers, will change over to snow. We'll have snow during the night. Accumulations are likely uh, Friday night and windy and turning colder, too. So even some blowing and drifting snow will be a concern and a good chance we'll have some icy roads around the area come Saturday morning. So you'll want to stay tuned to the latest forecast here if you have some travel plans early Saturday. Lows tonight expected to drop down into the upper 20s. 20s over most of the Miami Valley to close to 30 degrees, maybe as chilly as 27 over toward Eaton, and then high temperatures tomorrow afternoon uh, getting into the mid to upper 40s with 47 in Troy and Springfield, 45 in Sydney, uh, looks like 48 degrees in Dayton and Xenia with 49 in Springboro, and high temperatures on Friday expected to make it only up to about 40, 41 degrees Wapkaneta. These numbers will actually start to fall later in the day as colder air starts to come in from the northwest. We'll be in the upper 40s, but also will fall late day eventually with that change over to snow in the evening. Here's the Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera. A few fair weather clouds drifting through uh, late this afternoon just before sunset, but pretty much clear skies out there. It's clear right now and dry on live Doppler 2 HD. A little patch of cloud cover from Fort Wayne to about Indianapolis. That's dropping southeast, and a few of those clouds could move into the area later this evening, especially northwest. But the overall tendency is for that to stop. The clouds will even start to move back to the north, it looks like, later on. And uh, we're just also seeing those clouds in the process of thinning out. But these clouds are not thinning out. They'll start to spread east, and some of those will begin to move into the area tomorrow, late tonight and tomorrow. Right now, we're down to 45, a west wind at 9. That's producing a wind chill factor at 40 with a barometer holding steady. Our weather checkers tonight. Tom Wyckoff in Springfield, 44 degrees. Bill Telsero in the Fairborn Beaver Creek area, 47, two hundredths of an inch of melted snow. And uh, Jeff Cador in Bell Center, only at 42, while Pam Montgomery in West Alexandria has 47. We'll stay mostly clear tonight. Uh, finally, some of those high level clouds start to stream in late tonight, tomorrow morning, gets us back to partly cloudy skies. Still dry weather through Thursday and Thursday night. And on Friday, that's when things start to change. You can see some of that rain coming in there late afternoon and evening, and gradually uh, through the afternoon, late afternoon and evening hours, changing over to snow. And right now, it looks like at least the potential uh, for a couple, maybe three inches of snow. We'll fine tune that forecast, though, as we get a little closer to that time frame. Tonight, mostly clear down to 28. Tomorrow we expect partly sunny skies, upper 40s in the afternoon with a light northeast wind and that rain in the afternoon on Friday developing, going over to snow, uh, falling temperatures late day, only in the 20s on Saturday. We'll have uh, so snow showers on Saturday and a uh, little sunshine mixed in with the clouds too. 18 Sunday morning with a high of 44, mostly sunny and then milder temperatures next week with a chance of showers Tuesday.